In the news recently, we've got Gold Source Mines. Gold Source trades in the Toronto Venture Exchange as GXS, the OTCBB in the States as GXSFF, as they've got some initial geophysical survey results and a drilling update from Salbora as part of the bigger project, the Eagle Mountain Gold Project in Ghana, South America. With me now, I've got the president and CEO, Giannis Sitos. Hey, Giannis, appreciate the time. It looks like a pretty good piece of news for the company. Why don't you run through the highlights of it for us? Uh, yes, uh, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to talk uh, to your audience. Um, we we put a, a news release this morning, uh, some uh, great news from the perspective of uh, showing for first time uh, the first results out of the massive geophysical survey we did. Uh, uh, we call it at Salbora, but effectively is covering uh, five square kilometers of area. So within Salbora, uh, of Salbora is part of that, uh, but we are covering a uh, much bigger area. Uh, we have discovered additional bodies to Salbora. Uh, we have a clear five different targets. Uh, we are seeing significant structures that uh, we start building a knowledge around them in terms of uh, uh, the cross sections between the structures and the foliation that drives into auriferous bodies. And uh, as we carry on uh, exploring these targets, we are going to start drilling all of them in the coming few months. So in this news release, of course, we are announcing some holes uh, drilled in the northwestern part of Salbora, but mostly into a new target called Apollo, which uh, was proven that carries on a significant amount of sulfites, but no, not auriferous structures or minor dissections, let's say. Um, you know, obviously we have uh, understood now that there are some bodies uh, that uh, do not carry on gold. But I would like to remind uh, to, to, to our shareholders and the investors out there that uh, this type of deposits, the greenstone belt, uh, sear hosted uh, gold deposits, tend to be notoriously complicated and uh, urge them to go and see other case studies globally. Uh, it takes a lot of work and a lot of uh, drilling and knowledge in terms of uh, both lithology, uh, structures, uh, and, and chemistry in general before you, you go into understanding the faulting, the folding, planting of bodies, and so on. The, even the Apollo target that we announced with uh, some negative holes, um, uh, the Apollo target, there are four different mineralized subparallel bodies and we have drilled only the two of them up to a depth of eight meters. So two other, uh, the third one, it's uh, drilled, but uh, results pending, and the fourth one has not been drilled yet. Uh, as far as Salbora uh, is concerned, the actual discovery of Salbora, uh, because of an intense rainy season in the last two months in Guyana, a tremendous amount of rainfall, and Salbora is located on a hill, uh, the conditions were very dangerous and slippery to move a heavy rig, uh, diamond rig, up the hill uh, in this kind of period. Uh, now the, the rainy season has been eased, and about 10 days ago we moved uh, one of the two rigs we operate uh, on site 200 meters south of the Discovery Halls, and we start hitting Salbora target again. So I would like to urge the audience to pay attention to the coming news releases, uh, the Salbora target itself is in excess of 600 meters length, uh, and, 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 and we feel very positive about it, uh, plus the other four targets we have. So uh, to our view and our technical people's view, uh, we, we are building the knowledge. We are carrying on persistently into exploring these targets, and I'm sure we're going to have some great results as we come in the future. Okay, appreciate that update. Yana Sitos, President and CEO, Gold Source Mines, GXS on the venture, GXSFF, OTCBB in the States. Yana, yeah, appreciate that update. Certainly look forward to checking back in with you. Have some more news to report. Uh, thank you very much.